Bride leaves empty seat for late son, cries when she sees who takes it. The day was always expected to be bittersweet. She knew there would be tears and plenty of nostalgia. But when she spotted an unexpected guest, her heart started to race. This person had not been invited. And he took a very special chair. There had been a time when Becky Turney didn't think she would ever be happy again. But after three impossible years, she was putting on a wedding gown and actually had a real smile on her face. The fact she was still there was thanks to two men. First was Kelly her fiancé and the love of her life. He had met her when she was still mourning and miserable a shell of a woman. In all their time together, he had shown her nothing but patience and love. He never asked her to heal faster than she was ready. The second man, however, was gone forever. Becky could barely remember the day she had got a call from the police. All she heard were the words son and accident after that, she couldn't remember much, only pain. It had taken just one second for her 19-year-old Tristan to be gone forever and she couldn't do a thing about it. But how did he save her? It was knowing that he would want to her enjoy life again and feel love that kept her going. So, as part of the wedding ceremony, she had decided to leave one seat empty. Her boy could be there in spirit and see her smile. This, however, caused an unexpected problem. The event was in Alaska part of her and Kelly's dream wedding. Because it was so far away and their budget was limited, they couldn't invite everyone. This upset quite a few people, some of whom didn't understand why a seat had to be empty. Never in a million years would Becky have imagined someone would come without an invitation. She spun around one more time. Everything was in place from the necklace Tristan had given her for Mother's Day to the shining ring from Kelly. But out of the corner of her eye, she noticed her maid of honor scowling at her phone. Something was clearly wrong. This was not the day for drama. Nothing the bridesmaid said, just your aunt and uncle complaining again. I'm putting them on silent. Becky shrugged and brushed it off. At the best of times, they were very unpleasant people. Even if the ceremony was local, they wouldn't have been invited. They also hadn't been allowed at the funeral. As 3 p.m. rolled around and the crowd outside waited early, she grabbed her bouquet and their entourage went to the starting point. As the music played and they walked down the flower-covered path, she should have felt joy. But there was someone new and he was sitting in her son's seat. Becky made the last few strides with trepidation. The man sitting before them was someone she had never seen before. Her fiancé pulled out a microphone. Becky, I know how much you wish Tristan was here. So, I would like to introduce Jacob Kilby. He was one of the people your son saved. It was an avalanche of overwhelming emotion surprise, joy, and a little bit of sadness. What most people there didn't realize is that her son had been an organ donor. After his death, his body had saved many others. She felt something cold in her hands. Kelly slipped her a stethoscope. She broke into tears. Her fiancé explained what he had been doing for months behind her back. He had managed to track down the young man that had received Tristan's heart. He knew how badly Becky wished her son could have been present. So, he did all he could to have at least a part of him there. Becky embraced Jacob tightly as if he was also her child. The tears came harder when she placed the stethoscope against his chest and heard the heartbeat. It was the same rhythm she had listened to when her angel was an infant resting on her chest. Kelly had to hold her from collapsing. But there was still one final surprise. Kelly pulled out a jacket and batonniere that matched the rest of the groomsmen Jacob was an honorary part of their wedding party. He would stand where Tristan would have stood as he watched his mom get married. It was a kind of happiness she never thought possible. It was the best gift she had ever received in her entire life. A stranger had carried her son over 3,000 miles just to be with her. He thanked them over and over for the gift of life he had been given through her son. It was a day she would remember forever.